Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Trafalgar Centre in Manchester and today we're going to talk about the correct arm action through the ball and kind of post impact. Uh, it's kind of controversial area of the golf swing let's say, there's lots of advice out there, not all of it is perfect so hopefully this is going to clarify a little bit of that information up for you and just help you improve your golf game and get you hitting the ball straighter further and more consistently just with this kind of simple exercise and drill so we've got at the moment different terms let's call it of of release so releasing the golf club um there's there's handsy approaches there's kind of players like to think they're using the hands too much I'm not a massive fan of that, I feel like it comes with a lot of inconsistency. There's release in this manner, getting the club to flick under, again not a very valuable thing because it help, it causes you to hit the ball too far behind and also generally launches the golf ball far too high. We're going to talk about the correct arm action through the ball and beyond and how it can control a little bit of the club face, just a little bit, but more importantly control the power and the consistency of strike that you guys are going to be able to get from this drill. So. First off, a couple of common faults that I see once coming through the ball. We see a good, I see a lot of good kind of players get into good downswings, and through the ball, the arms crumple up and pull inwards to the body. You know, really close to the golf to the body. A couple of things that does it holds the club face off. It holds the club face open, so your your face would generally be more to the right than your path. So it depends on what your path is, then your face would be a little bit more to the right of that doesn't particularly mean you're going to hit slice it, it just means you, your face is going to be a bit more to the right of your path. There's players who also, like say, roll the hands over. Again, that's too aggressive, there's too much hand action there. That's controlling the face too much and can be very inconsistent, certainly under pressure, or if you guys are trying to hit a certain golf shot, it can be very risky. The arm action I'd like us to work on today is making sure through the shot, our arms remain straighter and the forearms cross over better so my right forearm is almost crossed over my, my left now that's not involving the hands in any way shape or form there that's me swinging through good stretch of the arms keeping the hands away from my sternum keeping away from my body and just making sure that the right arm is crossed instead of doing this this is the position i tend to see a lot where the arms are separated it's getting the arms to stretch and cross over ever so slightly so once you've hit, I want you to do this drill for me. I want you to hit and hold that finish position. So once you've hit, I want you to hold your arm position there. And when you practice, just have a quick check of your arms. A couple of things we want to see is an extension of the, of the forward arm, the front arm, the right arm if you're right on the golfer, and the left arm just to be slightly underneath that, but still relatively straight, not pulled in too much. So it's getting both arms straight, but letting the forearms just gently cross over. That's going to help, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to man massively manipulate the face, it's going to help square the face up slightly. You still, if you've not squared the face up, you might have grip issues or your face orientation through your swing might be incorrect, but it's a way of just helping the face square up and also gaining a lot of power, a lot of consistency through the strike. Once you feel confident that you're doing that every time, introduce it to a full swing. So this time you're going to hit a full swing, Swing through, stretch, and then follow your swing around. So you're stretching to about halfway where the arms are level with the chest, and then following all the way through into a full finish position. It's going to help you strike better, consistent, longer golf shots and help the orientation of the face slightly. This is not going to fix if your club face is too far to the right or too far to the left. That will be more of a grip issue or a position in your swing where you're using the club face incorrectly. So guys, you've got to check that. Go and see your local pro to check that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. That's helping you understand your arm action through the ball a little bit better and post-impact. Some of the common faults that I see and some of the kind of myth busting a little bit as well. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please do feel free to comment in the, description, in the comment box below and also subscribe to the channel just here and check out my next video just here. Thanks so much for watching.